932, the foster care system can be a scary place for kids, not knowing where you live or if anyone will ever adopt you. It can be even harder for children deemed to have behavioral issues. Southside ISD works with a center like that for young men. The school district takes in the students, works with them, and embraces them in their community. Max Massey sat down with Principal Brenda Gonzalez and shows us it was love at first hug. I love you too. I mean, he pulled at me in no other way, and he's not my biological son, but he's definitely born in my heart. Like, just that connection was there. The thing I love about it is she is the principal, so she knows everybody. I said, I think I'm going to take him home. <laughs> Brayden was one of the numerous students from the foster care system that goes to school at Pierce Elementary. Hi. Hi. You have to overcome that. As principal, Brenda Gonzalez meets and interacts with children all day long. Very good. Look at this one's a long one. Where's yours, Anthony? But when she met Brayden, she knew it was special. Brayden talked about himself and what he liked and his favorite subjects. And then he said that his end goal was to be adopted. And so he said, OK, well, that's our goal, too. She's mom and principal. She acts like both. So when I come to school, she in the office, I say, um, I say, bye, mom. And I give her a kiss and then I go to class. He um, came to us with all the challenges that he was facing in life. Uh, you know, seven years of just the, the no structure, no family, no support. It, it was just being at the residential treatment center or in different foster cares. We can't show Brayden's face until November because the adoption won't be official until then. And Brenda and Brayden are already excited to sign the final papers. And so we're waiting for that moment, and, and we can't wait for that oh, moment. Yes. Um, Brayden's waiting for that moment. And uh, plus the party. And, and his little party. But Brayden already feels like part of the family, Brenda and her husband's first son. Mm, big hugs, bear hugs. And when it comes to Brayden and the Gonzalez family, it is all about love and passion and enjoying the little things, even if that means just a favorite meal. Yes, um, you took me to other places, and, and you say, is this better than chilies? We're like, no, I like chilies better. Mm -hmm. He loves chilies, everything loves about it. chilies. And, and just the, the most thing I love about that I love about it, the molten lava cake. Yeah, and the first mm -hmm. time we saw him eat it, he was savoring every moment. Brayden just wanted to find a family who will love him. And with the Gonzalez family, he found just that. Now, Brenda wants her story to help other kids like her son. We want to inspire others to say, I have that. I can give someone love. I can share moments with them and be able to walk away knowing that they could trust the journey with those boys and girls, whoever it is, that they could trust that love is all they need to get them through anything. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News. And Brenda's son's name is Brayden. His parents came up with that name by combining their two names, Ray and Brenda. His middle school is Pierce. That's the school where they fell in love with him. If you're interested in learning about the foster care system that Brayden was a part of, we have that information on KSAT.com. And tomorrow on Good Morning San Antonio at 9 a.m., we sit down with the school's vice principal who inspired Brenda because she also adopted a student in the same foster program. Oh, okay. man, you got us right here. <laughs> that, that, Brayden is the cutest thing so cute. ever. So articulate and fun and excited mm -hmm. and, and happy. And he already loves his new mama to the moon and back. The moon and back. And it was so cool because, you know, she's principal, so she deals with these kids mm -hmm. all day. She said it's such a new experience because now they have to go through the school pickups and she's not only mom, but principal. Yeah. That's so awesome. Bear hugs. Big love bear it. hugs. Worked out great for everybody. Look forward to tomorrow's. Yes, Thank we you so do. Much, we Max. want to hear from that vice principal. Right.